Hi all, Karthik here from Design School by WP Algorithm. In this video, I just want to show you how you can make your Elementor pages full width. Lot of people are confused between the layouts, how to switch between the layouts. Well, it's quite simple. So for the first thing that you need to do if you have Elementor Pro is to go to your theme builder. And go to theme builder, define a template for single pages, single posts or basically you can define a template for all singular items. So whenever you create a new page, post or a template, this particular layout will be applied. So let's say we are actually creating a page in WordPress. It can also be an Elementor page. So even in Elementor, you can create a new page, right? So you can click on saved templates and you can click on add new and you can select page from here. It's the same thing. So no matter where you're creating that page, you always have this option. So let's say I call it test page. And as of now, I don't have any theme builder templates active. But if I go to page attributes, there's something called div, uh, template. And by default, the default template is selected. With Elementor 3, you can actually change the default template for all the pages created. So that's a different thing. But anyway, so let's say that a default template applied is default. And when you click on it, there are two other options, which is which are Elementor Canvas and Elementor Full Width. Well, what happens when you select default template and create a page? Well, the design is then derived either from the theme or from the Elementor Pro's theme builder. Elementor Pro's theme builder templates override theme templates. Now, in my case, I don't have any theme builder templates active. So it will derive the default template for this page from the active theme. In my case, it's Astra. So let's say I publish it and let's say I just click on edit with Elementor. Once we go to the page, you can clearly see that the layout of the page is actually coming from the Astra theme with all the sidebar and all that stuff. Now the page seems to be full width, right? Well, we actually chose default template and the page is full width. Now I have opened the same page in the Elementor interface and also in Gutenberg interface. So basically when you click on edit, you'll be taken to the Gutenberg interface. This is the Gutenberg interface, you all know. And when you click on edit with Elementor, you'll be taken to the Elementor interface where you can add all the widgets and do the stuff that you would do with Elementor. So right here, click on the document, scroll down and based on the theme that you have active, you can actually choose layout per page. So as of now, you can see that the layout selected was no sidebar and full width stretched. So let's say I just change it to right sidebar and I just change this to full width contained. I'll just update this. Now, if you view the page or let's actually refresh the page in the Elementor interface itself. So even while you're working with Elementor interface, you'll see the real time preview of the page. So based on where it's deriving its layout, since we chose default layout and since we didn't specify a theme builder template, it will inherit all the features defined in your theme. Now, once the page reloads, you can see that we have a sidebar and you can see that the Elementor widget area or the content area is boxed. That's because we chose default under layout. So under page attributes, we chose default template. Since the default template is actually coming from our theme, but not theme builder template, it's specifying or getting all the things that we specified in here. We chose right sidebar, full width contained, and that's the reason why we just see this area of Elementor content. Now let's say we just choose this. What will happen? Well, based on the boxed content, even the preview will be updated here. So if you don't want your theme to control the layout, then just define a theme builder template and you can then leave the page attributes as default template because the default template is actually coming from theme but since you specified theme builder template that will be over overriding your theme template now it has this boxed layout you can see the boxed layout in here right in the form of a box we have the same sidebar well that's how you do it but while working with elementor at times you don't want all of this all of the sidebar and stuff you just want full width elementor container just click on the settings cog 
scroll down and you see default layout you can also change it from here you can either change it from elementor interface or you can change it from gutenberg interface so once you're in elementor interface just click on this if you choose elementor canvas it will remove header and footer even from your theme or basically your elementor header and footer it will remove those if you just want those but just want the page to stretch to full width just choose elementor full width and just within a second that layout will be applied just like that you have header and footer but now you have full screen of elementor content right and so we don't have the sidebar and stuff if you want to get the sidebar well you can get it just by changing this to default layout and actually having the default layout selected in the Elementor interface as well. But while working with Elementor, you'd usually prefer Elementor full width. So here you have the complete freedom to tweak the layout the way you want. If you choose Elementor canvas, well, the header and footer will be gone. All you will have is the full width Elementor content. So now you just have a blank page. This is usually good for login pages, for logout pages, for checkout pages and pages where you really don't want your header and footer right so maybe you can have your header and footer removed by choosing elementor canvas on pages that you really don't want them so this is how you make elementor con content full width also it's always a good idea to define theme builder template if you don't know about theme builder check out elementor basics playlist in which I explained clearly about theme builder, how it works and how you can use it to your full advantage. Well, I always suggest stay independent of your theme, get the best of the both worlds. And in case you want to be dependent on your theme, you have to disable your theme builder template, either make it a draft or do something like that. So this is how you make Elementor pages go full width so that you have all the creative freedom that you want. That's it for now. Just check out the Elementor Basics playlist to learn about Elementor. So right from the scratch, I've explained everything over there. You can check it out. That's it for now. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.